Hello friends, so I'm going to be installing this uh, cabinet mirror here. Um, it has lights and also has a dimming feature that allows the mirror to defrost, so that's kind of cool. Um, the packaging was amazing. It's super, super, super uh, well packaged. There was no damage, which is pretty impressive for a mirror. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over and install this in the bathroom. All right, my friends, well. Okay, friends, so here we are. Um, this is not uh, really easy to install. There's a little, this thing's kind of heavy. So I have underneath a base here that I've set up. Um, I do want to run my wiring into this, so I can just turn on the light and that's ready to go. Um, so I have my level in here. And what I'm going to do, get this up to the, the, the height that I want. And then I'm going to mark my holes. So we got my four holes here in the back of the thing here. So I'm going to lift this up and try to mark a hole there all the while keeping an eye on my level because this has to be level. So um, this might be a little tricky, but we will do our best here. So here we go. Let's go up there. Just about like that, I think. And then we want it level, so that side's gonna come down a little bit, up a little bit. And I'm gonna mark, uh, mark my hole. Oops, that up a little upside. Right about there. Okay. Let's see, so that's, needs to go up there. I think right about there is where I want it. Mark my two holes there. Okay. Whew. This thing weighs, I'd venture to say, about 35 pounds. So, we did get two holes marked. So, because of that, Now I can set this down, I think. I can just set it down right here. Should be okay. Okay, so I have that underneath there. And have, I successfully marked two holes. I don't really, I don't really trust these though, so what I don't trust. I'm gonna get some uh, other wall mounts and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, these kind right here. These wall anchors are quite burly. And these just kind of screw right into the wall. And they're really strong. Okay, these I think each are rated, some are rated up to 100 pounds. I think these were like 75 or something, so, or 50, so quite solid. I wish I would have been able to mark both of mine, so it's gonna be a little tricky. 
getting those. And now I have to mark my other holes too. So if I had a, uh, that might pose an issue. I think these big screws will still fit in there though. We're gonna find out. Should go. I'm gonna use the big screws that they gave me. Okay, so, well, I'm not sure what my plan was there then. I was going to screw it in, kind of get it held by a one, or I could just measure. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna go with the measuring tactic. I'm gonna measure from this hole to this one on my board, and I'm gonna do it that way, because it's gonna be really difficult to get that on there. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to make sure those are super level. Okay, so from the hole to the other hole is 15 and a quarter, right from the center of this hole to the center of the next one. So if I draw that line right there, Okay, so that's gonna give me that. That's gonna be, where did my level go? Oh, it's inside my cabinet, okay. So with this here, I'm gonna need this to be, this line to be level. So I want this as level as possible, obviously. I'm gonna mark my wire, or my line right here. Okay. Now this. Should be in line. The middle of this should be level. Right there. And that should meet up right where our other thing is here and that should give us our level if we just go level off of that. Right at that cross section, that should be our marker. Okay, I'm just gonna double measure here to make sure that that is accurate at 15 and a quarter on center. All right, and that is definitely level from this center, if that's the center to this one, that's right on our level. So that should be right where we want it. So I kind of like these, it has that point on them. I can just put that point right in the hole here that we've made. And theoretically, that should put us right in the center of where we're trying to work here. And this just kind of screws in just like this. Should put us right where we want to be perfectly. Okay. I'm going to measure that. Looks like we're came in a little bit. So it looks a tad in, but that's all right. These screws have a little bit of wiggle room, I think, as far as how much uh, space basically can go back and forth. So now I just want to come off of this one and measure my bottom one. I'm doing the same thing for the bottom one. Okay, here comes the fun part. So I have the my uh, holes here and here, and they should be all identical. There's a little bit of playroom in the back of this so these screws can move around. What you want to do, they come with those little white 
um, block parts, you just put that the screw over it like that, and you're gonna screw it into the wall like this, okay? So now I need to lift this up, get it even, and, uh, and screw these in. So ideally, if you had like uh, three arms, this would be great, um, but I don't. So I might need a little bit of help on this. This is not, this is not easy at all. Um, let's see, so I, I'm thinking one of two things. I can lift it up, get one in there. Um, I wanna make sure that this is coming down this side and not get caught in the back there. Okay, so I already cut this wire off too. I didn't mention that because I'm going to hardwire it into my light up here. So that I snipped off the plug. It would almost be easier if this thing was a little bit lighter if I take off the doors, but it's already assembled. So I don't want to do all that, mess up the wiring and stuff. So I'm just going to try to lift this, get it even, and then screw in a screw and just hope that I can pull it off here. If not, I might have to ask for help, which I don't do very often, but sometimes it's you just need someone to help you. Okay, so I'm gonna try to lift this up, get it, uh, get it lined up with those holes, and at least if I can get one screw in, I'm good to go, I'm golden. If I can get one screw going, then I can get the rest of them, no problem. So that's, that's gonna be the goal here. Hello, who's there? Oh, this guy, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna ask for help because this is heavy. All right, so. Whoa. All right. Uh, How heavy is it? It's about 300 pounds. Okay, it's easy then. I'm gonna hold it up here, and then you just screw that into that hole, okay? The screw? The other ones are right here. Okay, is it ready? It's ready. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up and try to get these screws, holes lined up, so. Okay, so I gotta be able to see that. I can tell you what it's in there, but hang on. The best way is to look through the hole and find the whole thing that you're trying to line up. And then you just guide it over to that hole. And there you are. Okay. Put one in there at oh, top one there. Alright, All right, stop. Now the other one should be lined up. I want you to back that, hang on, where's that screwdriver? No, I got it. I don't want it in that far, so we need a little bit of play so we can make sure our thing is leveled off. All right, so the next hole should be right there, right there if we're leveled off. Yep. And there it is, right there. <laughs> Okay, it's in most of the way, so I'm just gonna back that one out too. So we have a little bit of play and see if we can find our other holes. There it is right there. Okay. Not, Not in all the way. Alright, I got this now. Right, thank you. Yep. Thank you for your help. You're so I probably that would have been really difficult by myself, actually. Quite difficult. Okay. Yes, um, let's come over here for a better view. Okay, so we'll get this final one in right here. Okay. Now, before we tighten it up all the way, we will check out our level and be like, that's almost perfect. That is really close. This side, 
right here just needs to come up just a hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna lift up on this one a little bit if I can. There we go. Oops, not that much. Right about there, that's perfect. And then we're just gonna tighten that down. And that's as level just about as anything can be right there. And I'm just gonna hand tighten these down. Keep an eye on my level. And that is looking swell. Okay, that my friends, I don't think is going anywhere. It's pretty solid. <sighs> okay, looking nice. Now we can just put, we have these little things here. Put those on straight and just should be able to push them on there. That looks kind of cool actually. Here's another one here. And just push those on. There we are. Get another one here. Ah, push that on. And we got one more. Let's see if we can't. Get this one on there. The final one. Ah, there we go. Okay, that looks actually pretty nice. Um, now I'm going to attach my wires. So I did snip the cord off, and now I'm just going to kind of strip my wire here a little bit. And that way I can attach it. Okay, so just kind of strip those. And then I have a brown and a blue. Interesting, brown and blue. Okay. Get those stripped. And brown and blue. These don't really come with instructions, so. I'm thinking brown and blue. I might have to go look this up. I want to make sure I do it correctly. All right, I don't want uh, wire kind of being visible here. So I'm just going to drill a hole here, feed my wire up into that, and then I won't have a really an obvious uh, thing there, so. Drill my little hole there. And then I gotta fish my wire up into this section here. All right, so I might just take this off of here for now. Set that down. Try to get my wire here and feed it up into there. It's gonna be probably the trickiest part here. So I do have uh, this wire here. Maybe I'll be easier to fish this down so I can see it. Uh, 
Okay. Perhaps, oh, there we go. So I can see it right there. I just need to be able to grab that with my pliers. And I'll go get my needle nose pliers so I can pull that out. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab it with these little forceps. Oh my goodness, I missed. All right, that's all right. I'm gonna twist this a little bit. There we go. All right, easy peasy. And this is just some uh, weed eater line there. So now I'm just gonna get some painter's tape and pull that out of there real quick. Okay, so with the painter's tape, I'm simply just going to It's gonna go through that way. So I'm just gonna wrap this around there a few times. And this should just pull right through, no problem. Okay, so let's hope that is the case, just kind of twist it. And then we're just gonna push that through. Uh, we kind of pull this up. And looking like it's doing okay there. Come on little buddy. I twist it a little bit. There we go, okay. Just like that, that's what I wanted. Worked out really well. Now we just remove our painter's tape. And easier said than done. Usually it's not too difficult. I mean, painter's tape isn't super sticky. So, plus it can also tear pretty easy if we need to. Just like that. And kept everything intact nicely. Okay. There's that. That wasn't too bad. I've fished some wires before that were insanely difficult. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So I kind of looked it up. And what we want is for our attachments here. up our wiring it's going to be and I wrote down my hand so we got brown to black and blue to white okay brown is going to go to the black wire here and the black wire here so brown is going to black I'm going to attach those get my uh, Thing here I might need to do a little bit give myself a little bit more room here separation so I'm just going to get those turned there try to remove that have to be really careful I don't want to Don't want to mess up my wire here. All right, give me a second. Okay, I got that. Now, once again, it's brown to black. What I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna twist these, double check, brown to black. Yes, okay. I'm gonna twist these together. Like that. And then those are gonna go onto this. So everything's gonna be all nice and kosher. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more wire on this one too. Just a little bit more so 
There we are. Okay, that's a little bit more. Should be sufficient now to get us where we want to go here. Those are all going to be just like that and attach nicely here. Okay, so we got my wires there and we're just going to simply start twisting this on there. Okay, those are all actually pretty good. I'm going to just give myself a little bit more room with this one as well. Okay, I'm gonna strip that one down a little bit more. Twist that, blue is to white, just double check. Here's my white wire. Okay, and here's my main white wire right there. Hopefully my arm's not in the way of all this. I apologize if it is. Okay, here we go. Screw those on nicely. Okay, I like to pull on them a little bit, make sure we're all solid. It's gonna be the first test, guys. I'm actually gonna test right now. I'm gonna turn on my uh, turn it on, see how it works here, shall we? Well, here we go. So finally, it's got plenty of room for all kinds of stuff in here. The uh, shelves are up probably about three inches deep. So we got a lot of space in there and it's uh, 22 inches high worth of stuff. The hinges are slow close, so you can't slam them. And we're just gonna check out the light on the front and the mirror and the defrost feature. Okay, so here it is. And they have the no slam doors on there on the hinges so that's kind of nice they just close slowly I like how this lights up um, you can just turn that off turn that on turn that on i'm going to test that out right now i'm going to turn on my um turn on the old uh shower get some hot air in here and see if this defroster or not but that looks pretty nice i like the uh the look of it I like the space it has plenty of space uh, storage space uh, these are kind of a cool feature just a nice little mirror easy the install was a little i'd recommend two people for sure um, but not horrible and looks clean i like that i could just plug it into my wire up here and not have to have a wire coming down and plug it into the wall which wouldn't look horrible but it's just so much uh, cleaner like this where you don't see any wires all right wow feels like a sauna in here right now um, so I had this on, I was going to leave it off. I actually had it on. So you can see it's already got those little two little patches here and here where it's not going to get foggy at all. I'm going to turn that on and we'll see how quick that dissipates here. So yeah, I had the whole, the whole shower going super, super steamy, everything. But you can see even then these two spots, it didn't get all, uh, all cloudy and stuff with the moisture on them. So. Looks like that's working already. Starting to see this peel back. So that's nice. Uh, it's nice to come out to a mirror that, you know, doesn't have just stuff all over. Then you try to wipe it off and it just smears or whatever. So it looks like the heating or the portion that keeps it clear is it's mainly right here, which is fine. And that's like face size, basically. It looks like it's going to um, keep that nice and, um, clear so um, looks like it's clearing up a little bit more right here as we speak so that's kind of nice a nice feature just to come out here and not have to wipe down your mirror or whatever so that's that's pretty sweet if I would have just left that on the whole time I probably wouldn't have got this much looks like this is right 
basically where the heating uh, is instead of having the elements in the whole thing, which is fine. You have a nice patch of, of clear glass that you don't have to worry about um, blocking your view or getting all obstructed like this. Um, so that is it, my friends. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, my thoughts, it's, it's just a nice uh, little medicine cabinet. I like the features. Uh, install was not the easiest, but uh, well worth it, I think. So thanks for watching, my friends. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.